Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to thank you for stopping by the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. I know you didn't come here for a sermon. <laughs> so here's the video and we'll talk. To well, you. hey family, happy Wednesday. Uh, Darlene here. So I've already made two of the bracelets and I'm going to make a third bracelet to match with this one. I mean, the reason why I'd be doing that is only so that the videos are not very long. I try to keep them at 15 and a little bit over 15. I try not to go beyond a 30 minute video. And I, I do know they be saying longer videos, you know, yield more of whatever, but I, I don't be trying to do all that. So I'm going to just do, uh, make them kind of short. So these are two of the bracelets, bracelets I already made using the black and white beads. So these black and white eight millimeter beads, and then going ahead and matching them with these 25 millimeter pan painted polka dot beads. And then we are going to use another one of the evil eye beads for the focal point, just so it'll match with the rest of these beads. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll um, gonna go ahead and start beading it because I do need to take some, some pictures today. Um, I've been slacking a little bit on, on the picture taken. It is consuming. It definitely takes a lot to do. Um, and it's some work. It's like anything have to do with all this stuff that we be doing. It takes work. You know, and if anybody say it don't, uh, I don't know what they doing because this stuff takes work. I'm going to use a couple of these agate beads as well, just so they'll match. So we're going to go ahead and get these beaded. I really like the way these look. Very artistic. Very boho-ish. And then I like the way that matches right there. And then we'll put another little spacer. Using the little gold spacers. And then we're going to start with our black and white beads. These black and white beads are also got from uh, one of the subscribers. I appreciate you guys too. Just uh, your support, watching, commenting, emailing, you know, just, um, I get a lot of emails where people be pretty much telling me about um, how they're just re generated or just reignited to do what it is that they enjoy doing and that is making jewelry and surprisingly some people just make jewelry because they love making jewelry like they just make it and they make it for themselves and they make it and they gift it and you know they do they do all that so not everybody is looking you know to establish some type of little business with what it is that you know what they make and I do know if we can all just kind of keep in mind that we all have access to people um, in one way or another. We may be parts of, we may be a part of an organization. We might go to a church building. We might um, have access to schools or, you know, just, or other people that are connected to big banks of people, you know, and it's like, you just got to kind of Work the people that you're aware of, the organizations that you're a part of, the businesses that you're a part of. Because some people live in um, some towns where they don't have marketplaces and boutiques and stuff that are plentiful. So people may go to one particular store, two particular stores or three stores and a Walmart, right? But Walmart is not selling something home, uh, handmade and, and pretty and different that somebody wants, right? So that's where you come in at, put together a proposal, put together a pack, put together some information with a couple of samples and, you know, uh, send it to them or call and make an appointment. Hey, I'd like to come in because I have some handmade items and I think my brand will match well with your brand. And, you know, I do have, um, I have a clientele, you know, I have 10 people that buy from me often so if we were to collaborate, that's 10 people that are my customers that would literally be coming into your store 
and then that increases the potential of you even making more sales. You know, so you gotta, there's a word, you gotta, a way you have to word things and there's a way, you know, to do things because at the end of it all, people's mindset is how am I going to benefit? That is gorgeous, right? Their whole thing is how am I going to benefit from collaborating with you? You know, what benefit is it to me for me to work with you? Two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. And then we are going to put um, one big beat at the end. And that's the mindset of everybody. I don't, I don't care who the person is. What is the benefit for me on the back end? It's just a matter of, and I'm going to use this big B right here because it does match. And that adds a little bit of extra something, something to it. And I'm going to put one more white B right here. And then we're going to go ahead and tie this off. You know, but there, there is ways and we all have, you know, people that we have access to. And think about it. If you can get 10 people that buy from you often, you know, that would be your own little, your own little market. But there's, you know, you got to think of ways in order to get those 10 people. And sometimes that means going out and doing an event, you know, collecting uh, those people's email addresses while you're out there. So you can keep in touch with them by email, introducing new products, send them coupons and all that good stuff. But, you know, there, there is a way. But if we never get out, if we never put forth effort, you know, nothing, nothing come from it. You'll be just making a bunch of a beautiful product that you'll end up wearing yourself or end up giving, you know, giving away. And if that's the goal, then that's okay. Nobody's mad at you for that. But this is gorgeous. I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put a charm on here. But the charm I want to put on here, I am going to, I'm going to use one of these beads. And I'm going to turn this bead into a charm. Uh, let's see. I think I got some wire right here I could use. This is the thicker wire right here. I think this is probably the 16 gauge. I was doing something with this. I don't know what it was, but that's a piece of wire I can use for something else. Um, let's try this piece. We're going to go ahead and close it up at the end. Turn off that. And then we're going to go ahead and beat it. Fold it over. Oh, yeah, this is the thicker wire. I can already feel it on my fingers. Oh, yeah. And then with this, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this little extra off because this is that thick wire. I can't do a whole lot with this. And we'll close this down on there. And then fold that part. And then I want to use this as a, it's going to be a charm. So we are going to go ahead and add it on this side. And then this is what we want to do. Go ahead and add that on there. Turn it sideways so you can kind of see how it all how it all hangs. Well, this is real nice. I'm gonna keep this one for myself. I really like this one. I'm gonna change this one. Put it on this side. I really like this. This is like so freaking cool. All that jazziness on a wrist. Right? And I might even make one more bracelet just to kind of put right here. That's a smaller one like this one. 
But I really like these. You guys let me know what you think. Anyway, Darling Night for Jerry by BDK. And guess what? We'll talk.